Scene Script Have you ever wondered what will happen when the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies collide? In the vast expanse of the cosmos, our Milky Way galaxy and the neighboring Andromeda galaxy are two of the most significant players. As we speak they're engaged in an age-old cosmic dance orbiting around each other, drawn together by the unyielding force of gravity. The Milky Way, our celestial home, is a barred spiral galaxy, boasting around 300 billion stars including our own sun. It stretches across a hundred thousand light years, forming a dazzling band of light in our night sky. Just over 2 million light years away, the Andromeda Galaxy, our closest spiral galaxy neighbor, is making its approach. It's larger than the Milky Way, housing an estimated 1 trillion stars. This cosmic titan is moving toward us at a staggering speed of about 300 kilometers per second. That's faster than the speed of a bullet leaving a rifle. Now you may be wondering how do we know this? Well, astronomers have been keeping a close eye on Andromeda. By observing the positions of stars in Andromeda relative to distant background galaxies, they've managed to measure its average proper motion with remarkable accuracy. But don't panic. These celestial bodies aren't on a crash course just yet. This isn't like two cars speeding towards each other on a highway. The vast distances involved mean that this intergalactic tango is going to take some time. Even at Andromeda's breakneck pace it will take approximately 4 billion years before our galaxies meet. But when they do, it will be a cosmic event of epic proportions, a collision that will reshape our celestial neighborhood. However, it's important to note that collision is a bit of a misnomer. Despite the countless stars within each galaxy, the immense distances between individual stars mean that the likelihood of two stars actually colliding is virtually zero. Instead, the galaxies will merge, their stars slipping past each other, like two swarms of bees merging into one. With Andromeda inching closer to the Milky Way every second, scientists predict a cosmic collision. And so, our galaxies continue their dance across the cosmos, drawing ever closer in a ballet billions of years in the making. While it may seem alarming, galaxy collisions are not as catastrophic as they sound. This might come as a surprise, but collisions between galaxies are more commonplace than you might think, especially when you take into account the incredibly long lifespans of galaxies. Let's take Andromeda for instance. It's believed this galaxy has already had its fair share of interstellar fender benders, colliding with at least one other galaxy in the past. It's not alone in this. Our very own Milky Way is currently playing a game of cosmic bumper cars with several dwarf galaxies like Sagittarius Dwarf Spheroidal. These smaller celestial bodies are gradually being merged into our galaxy's mass. You might be wondering how can these collisions be so common when the distances between galaxies are so vast? Well it's all about gravity. Galaxies might be millions of light years apart but they're also incredibly massive. This means they have a strong gravitational pull, and over billions of years, they can draw each other in, leading to these slow motion collisions. But don't worry, these aren't the explosive fiery crashes you might be picturing. In fact, despite containing billions and trillions of stars, the chances of two stars colliding during a galaxy merger are practically zero. That's because even within a galaxy, stars are incredibly far apart. For instance, the nearest star to our Earth after the Sun is Proxima Centauri and it's over 4 light years away. So, when galaxies collide, their stars just sort of drift past each other like ethereal ships in the cosmic night. The galaxies themselves however can merge, their gravitational forces gradually knitting them together into a single, larger galaxy. So, while the thought of our Milky Way colliding with Andromeda might sound dramatic, it's actually a pretty normal part of life in our universe. And when it happens, it won't be a disaster. It will be a slow, graceful dance across billions of years. Despite the peacefulness of the night sky, it's a cosmic battlefield out there. Andromeda and Milky Way aren't the only players in this cosmic dance. As we wade deeper into this celestial ballet we find another participant gracefully pirouetting in the shadows, the Triangulum Galaxy. Known officially as M33, Triangulum is the third largest and third brightest galaxy in our local group. It's a spiral galaxy, much like Andromeda and the Milky Way, but it's a tad smaller and dimmer, yet no less significant. You see Triangulum isn't just an idle observer in this grand cosmic event, no, it has a role to play, and it's a compelling one. Scientists suggest that Triangulum is destined to participate in this galactic collision event. Its involvement however is likely to be a tad delayed, almost like a dramatic late entry in a theatrical performance. So, how does this play out? 
Well, the most likely scenario is that Triangulum, after some dazzling pirouettes in the cosmic dance floor, will end up orbiting the merger remnant of the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies. Picture this. Two colossal galaxies, having danced a cosmic tango, merge together, leaving in their wake a powerful gravitational field. This field then captures Triangulum in its gravitational grasp, turning it into a satellite galaxy. But the dance doesn't end there. Over a more distant future Triangulum may eventually merge with this new super galaxy, further adding to its stellar population and overall mass. It's a slow dance, one that takes billions of years, but it's a dance nonetheless. However, there are other possibilities. Triangulum might collide with the Milky Way before it gets a chance to merge with Andromeda. Or, in an unexpected twist, it might even get ejected from the local group entirely. The universe, after all, is full of surprises. As the third wheel in this galactic rendezvous, Triangulum's fate is as intriguing as the main event. What does the future hold for our galaxy post-collision? This is a question that might be swirling in your mind right now. In the aftermath of the collision, both the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy will be drastically altered. However, it's important to note that despite the immense number of stars within both galaxies, 1 trillion in Andromeda and 300 billion in the Milky Way, the chance of two stars colliding is practically negligible. You might be wondering, how is that possible? Well, it's all about space. The final frontier indeed. The vast distances between stars are so immense that they're difficult to comprehend. For instance, the nearest star to Earth after our Sun is Proxima Centauri, which is about 4.2 light years away. That's the equivalent of 30 million solar diameters. To help visualize that, imagine if the Sun were a ping pong ball. Proxima Centauri would be a P about 1,100 kilometers away, and the Milky Way would stretch over 30 million kilometers wide. Even though stars are more densely packed near the centers of each galaxy, the average distance between stars is still a whopping 100 billion miles. That's like having one ping pong ball every two miles. So, even though it might seem counterintuitive, amidst this grand cosmic dance of galaxies spiraling and merging together, actual star collisions are extremely unlikely. In fact, it's so unlikely that it's almost like expecting two grains of sand to collide in a storm across the entire Sahara Desert. This means that our solar system, tucked away in the outer arm of the Milky Way, would likely remain unscathed. Despite the dramatic reshaping of our home galaxy, our little corner of the cosmos could very well remain a peaceful haven amidst the chaos of the collision. So, even amidst a galactic collision it's likely that our solar system would remain unscathed. Our galaxy's dance in the cosmos is a spectacle spanning billions of years. We voyage through the vast expanse of our universe, delving into the intricate dance of celestial giants. We've explored the present state of the Milky Way and Andromeda, two galaxies separated by millions of light years, yet inexorably drawn towards one another. The dance of these galaxies is a slow one, their movements barely perceivable in the short span of human lifetimes, yet, with the aid of technology and scientific insight, we've glimpsed into the future, a future where these two galaxies will meet in a grand collision. Our journey didn't stop there. We've also delved into the role of the Triangulum Galaxy, the third major player in this cosmic ballet. This galaxy, smaller but no less significant, will join the dance, its fate intertwined with that of the Milky Way and Andromeda. It may end up a satellite, orbiting the merged galaxies, or it may join in their fusion, adding its stars to the new galactic entity born from the collision. We've then ventured into the aftermath of this inevitable collision. Despite the dramatic connotations of a galactic collision, the event won't be marked by fiery explosions or starry cataclysms. Instead the vast distances between individual stars will allow the galaxies to merge relatively peacefully. Our own Sun, along with its orbiting planets, is likely to be flung into a different part of the galaxy, but the chances of a direct stellar collision are infinitesimal. In the end, our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy, along with the Triangulum Galaxy, will continue their cosmic dance, albeit in a new form, they'll merge and shift, their stars mingling and moving in new patterns across the vast cosmic stage. In the grand cosmic ballet the collision of the Milky Way and Andromeda is but a single spectacular pirouette. 